All right, what we have here today is the upper shift solenoids out of a Nissan Pathfinder transmission. And what I'm thinking here is we have a couple of bad solenoids. You can see the, the triple solenoid pack, pretty straightforward. You're looking at the, the upper half of a, the valve body that's been removed. Anyway, let's go ahead and see if we can just do a, a hardwire test on these. Pretty straightforward. <clears throat> Got an alligator clamp here. Just clip it directly to the body that's holding. That'll be our ground. And then positive test lead. Um, it's been my experience, most solenoids, when you apply proper voltage to them, you can hear them cycle between open and closed. And unfortunately, I'm not hearing that on most of these. Uh, so let's go ahead and go with the, begin with the test. I'm going to switch this ground to the solenoid that I know is working. Just move this over here. This is the ground wire coming off the solenoid. I'll just go ahead and clip the ground there. And then apply the voltage to the lead. You can hear it cycle as I touch the That's what a normal solenoid, in my opinion, should sound like. So all's good there. We move the ground over to the other three and start testing. See the lead here. Just hit come in, hit the. I get a little bit of sound when the when the test probe actually touches the lead that's more of just you're hearing the the arc of the current not necessarily the solenoid don't mind the traffic in the background but nothing and you hear it a little bit but the sounds coming from up here not down here then the third one nothing and just one last time switch back over to here and then go back pretty clear difference there's another solenoid on the bottom that controls the trans or the torque converter clutch I have already tested that. That one appears to be uh, in working order as well. So, looks like a trip to the junkyard to pick up this solenoid pack. Uh, unfortunately, Nissan does sell these still, but they want $400 and they give you all the solenoids, which I clearly don't need. So, that'll wrap up this.